What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE action figure collection style video for you guys and today it is on Seth freaking Rollins. As you guys can see today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be taking a close look at my WWE Seth Rollins Elite Figure Collection. As you guys can see, we got all the different Rollins in the house. Now, the only reason I really wanted to make this video is because I took the time yesterday to create this shot, you know, get all these figures off. They're usually stacked up on this shelf up here. They usually go underneath the AJ Styles right there, and they line up that entire wall right there. Get out of my stupid ass face. I just called myself a stupid ass. But they usually fill up this gap right here and since Seth Rollins birthday was two days ago I think at the time you're seeing this I was late to the party you know I didn't get to post my video until or to get to post this shot of all the Seth Rollins up next to each other in a nice little row here until the day after and I wanted to go ahead and make a video out of it because it took like literally an hour to get all this set up with the titles and get them stacked and if you guys can see from the side here I need to use like elite boxes to get them all stacked up for you guys so I was like you know what man we're making a video out of this thing because it took me so damn long and I figured you guys would want to take a look at it. You guys enjoy Seth Rollins. I enjoy Seth Rollins. I don't know. You may hate him, but maybe you can appreciate the figures here. We're going to take a closer detailed look at it and that's what I wanted to do here today. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and dive in. We got customs. We got fix-ups. We got fantasy attires. We got all kinds of ish in here, but let's shut the hell up and dive into the Seth Rollins Elite Action Figure Collection. So as you guys know, typically how I align my collection is I usually start in, you know, timeline order. I usually start at the beginning of someone's career and we go all the way through. It's the same way I do my AJs up here in order of release. That's his Royal Rumble debut all the way on the far left, and it usually works its way through. Same thing with Dolph Ziggler. You got the Elite 5 there, and then it works its way through his career up until current day, and then I have my fantasy attires at the end. Same with Matt Hardy there, and same with Jeff Hardy there. Undertaker, you guys get the point. So, the same thing goes for my Seth Rollins. When I start off the collection, I start all the way to the left, and I start off with the Target Exclusive NXT Elite Seth Rollins right there. There. A lot of stuff happened with that figure where it was just really weird. I got the NXT Championship on it. It came with really big thighs and really big arms, so I did want to fix that up, so we did change that out. After that, you have a bunch of shield figures. I'm talking a bunch of shield figures. I think that's the Elite 25 with the ponytail bun. That was his first Elite that was not, you know, that was his first, I think, Mattel Elite ever, and it was a part of the shield. After that, you got a bunch of the shield Seth Rollins. You got the three-pack from Walmart, that TNF exclusive to Walmart. You also have his Elite 31 figure, I think, or maybe Elite 33 with the hair down. Not big on these head sculpts. I think those are kind of trash. But, you know, it was early day Mattel. What do you do? You know, you can't always start off perfection, and they've gotten better and better as we've went along. If we move on down the line, guys, you will see that we get into probably my favorite part of the collection of the Seth Rollins. I love this right here. I love this portion right here. You guys can see you have his 2014 days when he split away from the shield. They all have their money in the banks there. And you have, uh, of course, Seth Rollins right there where he joined the Authority. You have the, you have the Money in the Bank win right here with the yelling face because, you know, he's celebrating. He's yelling because he won. I painted that head sculpt. Then you have a couple different attires. They all look the same, but if you get in there and look at the belt buckles, they are a little bit different. You have the Toys R Rush cash-in exclusive here on the end, and then we have the 2015 WWE Championship attire. After that, we come down, guys. We do have the Elite 45, and we have a bunch of those because it's probably my favorite Rollins Elite up next to the Toys R Us exclusive. I love the all-white gear. I, I freaking love it. It's freaking fantastic. I have a couple different head sculpts, painted blonde hair, you have like this gloved fantasy attire, and then you have the moment after the matchup where his right gauntlet actually did fall off, so I put a bare arm on there, and then put the open knee pads on it. Very, very beautiful. You got the Slammy Award winner in the middle with the black suit and the Slammy Award. He also has a crutch under there, if you guys can see that. He does have his crutch. You got his 2016 return where he came back, and I think that was Extreme Rules. He attacked Roman Reigns. All his 2016 black and gray gear. We come down, you do have the Shield Epic Moments 3-pack on the left, and then we have the Elite 52 as well as the Top Talents with a bunch of different fix-ups and craziness. Right here, this one's pretty interesting. We have this like fantasy attire lime green hair sort of hybrid Seth Rollins where I had it where him and AJ Styles were as a tag team so that's why he's got the AJ gloves. He doesn't have to have the AJ gloves. You could just remove the AJ and it be his own like 
hybrid between his old gear with gloves and then his new gear without gloves. And then he has the streak that matches the gear. So I thought that was a pretty unique attire right there. Moving forward, we have his WrestleMania 33 gear where he took on Triple H. He got before the matchup and after the matchup with his gauntlets off and the sledgehammer. Moving it on down, we do have the SummerSlam figures in the Deadpool attire or whatever. You got some championships on display and stuff. This right here is just some parts that I threw together using different parts that I had. And uh, it's kind of a combination of top talents and SummerSlam, uh, what was that, 2017 Rollins? If we come down the line a little bit more, guys, we do have his Royal Rumble gear in the Flames attire. Now, if you're wondering why, why the hell, Brad, why the hell do you have like 17 of each figure? It's because I, I like to customize, all right? I like to take them. I like to remove some paint, do some part switching, get some stuff going, and that way I can create new gears, new attires, new customs, and stuff like that. That's my favorite part of collecting WWE action figures is the customization and the fixing up process, and you guys can find that out by watching the action figure surgeries, the WWE figure surgery videos, the thinking outside the box, the action figure appointments. That's what we do here. We freaking love it. And uh, if we go down a little bit more, we have some more top talents, but it is the all-black gear. You got a couple of those with some different titles and moments. Monday Night Rollins gear. Moving on down, we do have some customs right here getting into it. You have the WrestleMania 34, Seth Rollins. We have the Summer 2018, I think, where he brought back the 2015 attire, where he, uh, you know, he was putting on great matches with the Intercontinental Championship, really lifting that title up. Going into SummerSlam 2018, we did have the Thanos gear, which I'm not a big fan of this custom, but it is okay, I guess, if you want to say, you know, it, I, I wasn't a big fan of it. I actually am thinking about selling this thing. So if you guys are interested in the Thanos SummerSlam 2018 Rollins with the, you know, the Thanos Infinity Gauntlet boot on there, let me know down in the comments section. I'll probably list it on eBay here soon. I'm not exactly sure of it. After that, we do have the Elite 75, a custom Royal Rumble 2019 Rollins where he won the Royal Rumble in the Chicago Bears attire. The Elite 70, which is missing his vest, but you guys will see the vest here in a moment. If you guys wanted to see these figures real quick, I wanted to take these out so you guys can get a little shot of them there. So that's the Money in the Bank attire. I think he took on Elias for the Intercontinental Championship and uh, yeah, it's pretty much just his 2015 attire, except it does have the belt buckle and then you do have the WrestleMania 34 gear right there. And he does have the blue eyes on there. Don't forget that. We come down to the bottom, guys. We have a bunch of fantasy attires and customs. So we have my Santa Claus Rollins right here in the Santa hat and the Santa coat in the SummerSlam 2017 attire and the Deadpool attire. So the red all matches together. I love breaking that out at Christmas time. We have the WrestleMania 35 Rollins with the Universal Championship and the Beast Slayer t-shirt. Really beautiful custom right there. I think we're supposed to get that from Mattel very soon, so that'll be pretty cool. I'd rather have something different, but you know, it is what it is. Here is the Elite 70 Shield Seth Rollins vest on my Top Talents fix-up that we did on Action Figure Surgery, I think, where we just kind of mixed and matched a bunch of parts to get the all-black attire, similar to his SummerSlam 2019 attire. We have the Survivor Series 2019 Chicago Bulls inspired gear right here. This is a beautiful custom made by Mac Decals. I love this figure. This is absolutely brilliant. Then we have a couple modern day Seth Rollins where the 2020 Monday Night Messiah got the all black with the jacket and the gloved hand and then we have his WrestleMania 36 gear where he took on Kevin Owens. After that we do have a few fantasy gears using different Mattel WWE action figure parts. You have the Toys R Us exclusive cash in with a bunch of different parts. The uh, Elite 37 with a bunch of different parts. The Elite 75 with a bunch of different parts and then another Elite 37 with some different parts. And then finally, we have a SummerSlam 2017 with different parts. And those are so fun to make, guys. You just kind of mix and match parts. You guys have seen the process on making those. And we just sort of mix and match all of our parts together to create fantasy attires that maybe you want and see every day. And you don't have to worry about paint chipping or any of that. So that is what makes those absolutely fire. Moving on down, here are my painted fantasy attires. Now, these just came to me. I am missing my all blue one that I did sell just recently. So I do have to get that one back in the collection, but we have the gray TNF with the black and pink mixed in. We have my Burnout Ink custom here, which I kind of came up with on 2K, and then he just brought it to life with the white, black, blue, and gray. This is a absolutely phenomenal figure. I love that one so much. And then finally, we have the two that I made, and we have the Punisher Seth Rollins right here with the Punisher vest, and then uh, I do want to get a little 360 shot, because this one's just money. You got the Punisher skull on the knee pad, black and white gear going around with the black and white SR logos, and then the black and white kick pads, and then uh, finishing it off with the custom Seth Rollins. This one is just everyone's favorite. You have the Buzz Lightyear Toy Story Seth Rollins that he did rock at MDT Hell's Gate, and I love this one, man. You got the custom vest on there. This idea literally hit me out of nowhere. You got the Rollins there for the nameplate, the Space Ranger SR with the buttons going all the way down. You got all the great colors and stuff, and the back of the vest is not completed, 
but uh, you guys get the whole point. And then we have the custom head sculpt made by BEW Animations that's a modified basic 102, which is freaking brilliant. And then the best custom probably in the entire video is the Seth Streakin' Rollins, which is a naked Seth Rollins underneath the WWE Championship, and that is freaking brilliant. You got it right there, barefoot, all the way up to the top, schlong hanging out, doesn't give a damn, WWE title covering his business, and that is it for the Seth Rollins figures. Now, I know you guys have seen a lot of these over the years, you know, the different collection videos. I'm not usually big on doing collection videos, but since I already had all these guys out, I definitely wanted to film a, a collection video, maybe for future reference when we go back and look, because you guys know the Seth Rollins collection is only going to grow from here. We're going to continue to add to it, continue to add new Seth Rollins fix-ups and customs and stuff. And if you guys would like to see any other portions of the collection like this in a style video where they're all stacked up, let me know down in the comment section below. I typically save my collection videos for the start of the year. I'll do a full collection video that's like two hours long where I stack up every figure in the backstage area and we run through all of them, which is a big video that everybody waits for every year. And then we do a room tour where we showcase all the displays. But since I had all these out and we haven't done a Seth Rollins video like this in a while, I did want to go ahead and create this for you guys. But that is going to do it for the Seth Rollins collection video, guys. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comment section below. What is your favorite Rollins? What's your favorite era of Rollins moment? Maybe you hate him. Maybe you love him. Let me know down below. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.